to face the dark. To face the dark, one does not need a light. Nor does one need a watch, a feather, a melody, a sword, a pen. To face the dark, one needs only to face the dark. There is something easier than about the facing when we know we need no preparation. Nothing is asked of us except the willingness to face the dark. The willingness to pause in that moment when we cannot see, cannot know, cannot float on the sea of habit cannot fly on the feathers of routine. But already, I've taken this too far. It's so simple, the invitation, that it is easy to miss what is asked. Not a journey, not even a step, just the chance to face the dark, to meet yourself in that facing to notice what is being erased and what is doing the erasing.